Now with auto lip syncing and auto face animation with your voice. And you can still use facial expressions while lip syncing. Hi guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at a very exciting new feature which is auto lip syncing. An exciting thing about this feature is that it allows you also to have facial expressions even when you are lip syncing. So for instance you can make your character angry or you can make your character surprised even while he is talking to your voice. So with that said, let's jump right inside the toolkit to see how this works. So let's first import an audio file that we would like to use. So I'm going to import this one. Let's preview it very quickly. Welcome to the most advanced yet simple to use character animation kit. Perfect. So I'm going to use this one. Make sure that the voice that you choose is very clear and that it doesn't have any background music or background noise since these can interrupt the software from analyzing your voice properly. So with that said, I'm going to import this right inside the project window right over here. And once that imports, you will then need to go to the head studio and simply drag and drop it right over there. Very good. So once that is done, I'm going to select the work area that we want to analyze. So let's say I want to analyze around five seconds. If you want to analyze a longer voice, you can simply give it a longer work area, but I'm going to analyze this amount for now. Now what we can do is simply right click in here, go to keyframe assistant and convert audio to keyframes. Very good. So as you can see, it has created for us a new layer named audio amplitude. Now one thing to say about this is that if you are using a different language of After Effects, this may be named differently. In that case, simply rename this to audio amplitude. As you can see, this layer has the length of the work area that we have selected earlier. That's good. So I'm going to hide this layer for now so that I can see everything properly. And then I'm also going to hide these control layers so that I can see the face properly in here. Of course, if you want to use those again, you can simply show them again. So let's keep those off. And from here, we're going to go to the head animation suite. Click on that. Now let's go to the effect controls. And immediately in here, you will find this feature named Odd Auto Lip Sync. So open that right over here. And from here, from the first attribute in here, we will need to select that new layer that has been created for us. Now, one thing to say is that you always need to leave this to off if you are not using lip syncing. Since if this is set to any other layer, this can create issues with, with expressions. So make sure that it either at off or else you select the layer that you want to, that you have created using the convert audio to keyframes. So I'm going to select that new layer. It's right here at the top, so we won't be able to see it, but it is audio amplitude right here at the top. And I clicked on it, as you can see. And now with that done, all we need to do is to turn the auto lip sync to 100%. And this will immediately do the lip syncing for us. Let's preview this. Welcome to the most advanced yet very, very cool. to use character animation kit. So very, very nice in there. Now, another thing that we have is the auto face animation. This is a very, very cool feature. So once we turn this on, so you can set this the amount that you want. Let's make this at 30% and let's preview. Welcome to the most advanced yet simple to use character animation kit. Amazing. So you can see that now it is using the, that voice to even make face animation for us. One last thing is the volume sensitivity, which you can increase or decrease de depending on your volume loudness. So if you have a, a voice that is louder or quieter, you can tweak this volume sensitivity so that uh, the mouth reacts accordingly to your voice. So play with that to get a good, good uh, lip syncing in here happening. So with this said, let's see a couple of other scenarios in here. So uh, lip syncing, auto lip syncing is very good, but of course, it cannot be perfect since it is being done by a computer. So if there is a specific letter that you want to be spelled different in here, you can override it manually. And to do this, we're going to go to the auto lip sync in here, keyframe this, and I'm going to move one frame. And let's press U on our keyboard to open the, the uh, keyframes in here. And let's zoom up a little bit. And with that done, we can now give turn this audio auto lip sync to 0%. This will immediately switch off the lip syncing for us. 
Now we can go ahead and go to the face expressions, go to the lip sync alphabet, and from here we can select any letter that we like and overwrite that auto lip syncing manually. So to do that, let's say I want him to say an F for instance. So click the stopwatch when it is a zero, let's hit you once again. So that shows the keyframe, jump one keyframe and turn this to 100. And now I can leave that for a few frames, the amount that I want it to be left in. And I can simply put another keyframe, move one frame and turn the, the F to zero and the auto lip sync, I'm going to turn that back to 100% so that we continue using the auto lip syncing. So like this, we can override the lip syncing using manual properties from here, from the lip sync alphabet. So let's see another scenario. Let's say I want to use an expression, a facial expression with the lip syncing, with the auto lip syncing. To do this, I'm going to remove these keyframes that I have made so that I go, go back to the default settings. And now I'm going to go to the face and simply give it any face expression. So this is a very nice feature that you can give it any expression, even while, while you have that, that lip syncing happening. So you can give it thinking for instance, or let's make him, uh, let's make him tired. And if we preview this now, Welcome to the most advanced yet simple to use character animation kit. Amazing. So of course this would be more suitable for a tired voice, but you can see how this works very, very nice. So uh, one last thing is we can of course also give it a mouth expression, which is something very cool. So uh, let's find an expression that we want to use. So let's see, let's give him this expression, please. Now I like to turn these to around 50%. Since if you turn these 200, they can override the lip syncing. So I prefer to use something like 50 or 60 to keep everything organized in here. So let's preview this. Welcome to the most advanced yet simple to use character animation kit. Welcome to the most. Perfect. So you can see how that works right over there. One last scenario that we can illustrate is that if we turn the displays off, in here we have some expressions that for instance something like washing teeth left that when we turn this off we can see that the actual mouth is not turning to the left since it is being overridden by the by the lip syncing if for any reason this happens what you can do is you can simply decrease the lip sync amount in here the auto lip sync amount so let's make this to a 50 for instance and as you can see now the mouth expression is working properly with that auto lip sync to 50%. Of course, when you are watching your teeth, you cannot speak that much. So we will need to decrease the, the speaking amount in here. And you can decrease that even further. So for instance, like 30, since this is the reality of the situation here. Welcome to the most advanced yet simple to use character animation kit. Very cool. So that's basically it. I hope that you enjoy using this feature. Feel free to experiment using different expressions in here. And as you can see very quickly in here, you can create a very good facial, ex facial animation in here just by using the auto lip syncing and give it, giving it any expression that you want from right over here. Of course, you can also animate these expressions using keyframes like we have seen in our other tutorials. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see what you can create with using this feature.